basically became a skinhead at the age of 14. Um, I had a family member who was a skinhead, and um, I decided to try to impress him. I was already a chronic runaway at that point. I lived on the streets quite a bit. So it, was, it almost seemed like a natural evolution for me. I mean, I got beat up a lot. So I think by the time I was 19, I enjoyed the fact that everyone feared me because of the fact that I was beat up and bullied quite a bit. I didn't hate anybody. I hated myself. So I just kind of projected it outward. Um, and, you know, if you, got, if you got a kid who's, you know, self-destructive and genuinely just doesn't like themselves, it's easy to convince them that minorities have caused all their problems or to just turn that hatred toward minorities. It's real easy to convince a kid of that. So that's what happened to me. I got convinced that you know, the Jews were at fault for all my woes, and, you know, the black man's been keeping me down, this and that, when all in all, it was because I was a screw-up. I wanted to get out, but I didn't know how. I didn't know, I didn't think there was a way out besides prison or death. I thought those were the only two out programs. And it's been absolute hell. Uh, when, it, when, we first, when I first got out, immediately we started getting death threats, people calling up 3 o'clock in the morning, um, and this went on for a couple years straight. I mean, just constant harassment and death threats for like two years straight. We were living on red alert. It's, it's hard when you can't escape your own skin, you know? <laughs> you can leave your past behind, but you can't, you can't run from your own flesh. And that was another reason why I wanted to burn them off my skin. Brian receives approximately 30 injections on just one side of his face. Okay. The pain was horrendous, but I don't know, it was easy. It was fairly easy for me to endure. Um, I just, just kept, I always told myself it was a penance. I deserved it because I've caused a lot of people a lot of pain. I have been an I've been a head for a lot of years, and so it was. It was easy to just tell myself that this is my penance. I have to go through this. Can I change my past? No. Um, the only thing I can try to do now is make amends. That's all I can do now.